Yo di nan pwen Guinée encore. Yo di criole c'est pas Guinée. Adieu. When I first heard about the earthquake in Port-au-Prince, my first reaction was actually rather emotional. And if there's one country that doesn't need another disaster, it's Haiti. In any crisis, people and particularly American people have a spontaneous response which compels them to act and help. What our team found on the ground was a situation of total devastation and total chaos. We were able to get in there on a small corporate plane that one of our sponsors had given us. From the moment the earthquake happens, lives are in the balance. And the quicker we can get there, the more lives we can save. We arrived in the dark and we spent the night sleeping on the tarmac at the airport. So the next morning we were able to rent a car and we came here. This was our first stop in Haiti. Il y avait des centaines de patients blessés, pas vrai? Il fallait, il fallait s'en occuper. On a dû opérer les patients à l'extérieur, pas vrai? On a dû amputer des patients avec de l'anesthésie locale. Locale, là, après 48 heures, il n'y avait plus de médicaments, il n'y avait plus de painkillers, pas d'antibiotiques. La situation empirait. You can't help a trauma victim if you don't have sutures. You can't do surgery unless you have the anesthesia and antibiotics and surgical implements. And that's what we bring to the picture. Quand on a eu l'aide de l'Américaine, maintenant ça a aidé énormément puisque j'ai eu beaucoup d'antibiotiques. J'ai reçu de l'Américaine a lot, a lot of things. Sans ça, on n'aurait pas pu s'en tirer. The doctors used to pull up to the driveway in the back there, and we just load them up with whatever they needed. Si nous avons un problème, on douleur, même côté à médicaments quand on vient de jouer, nous, nous servir avec le bien occupé, non? The medication you give to the hospital has reached her because she said there was not a time that she would ask for something that right away it was not provided. Quand on est clair de pied, quand on est infecté, et puis on est juste dit faut qu'on coupe pied. Mais on coupe pied ça va dans deux fois. Oui, il y a un médicament gratuit, moi pas payé et que mon patron. She thanks you for for what you've said. That has allowed her to be sitting here and being alive today. Hi, Gladys. It's Rachel with AmeriCares. Hi, Dr. Charles. One of the things I'm most proud of is that we could get the right items at the right time to the right people and in the right quantity, which is really the key to delivering something that's useful. We have an estimated number of 300 thousand diabetics in Haiti. This is a long time proposition and you have to take care of them all our life. Without the help of Americares, we could not continue our services to the population. If the hospital could not provide the medication for her, she said she would just have to leave her here and let her die. Mm. This is hard. That you watch your child die because you don't have the medication. Mm. That's not right. Huh? Okay. I think Haiti really uh, em embodies just the success of AmeriCare. So they're not just going in, putting out fires and leaving. They're actually going in with the intention of setting something up that will be sustainable and continue to offer services to the country and the people that need it. AmeriCare has been in Haiti since 1984. By leveraging our historical knowledge of the place, by our historical partnerships, as well as everything we learn in the moment and the disaster puts us in a very good position to stay and be involved and provide an important set of services and responses in the rehabilitation and reconstruction of the society. It's what we did in Pakistan, it's what we did in Sri Lanka, it's what we're still doing in Sri Lanka, it's what we did in Aceh. Chechnya, Russia. Pakistan after the earthquake, China after the earthquake, Eastern Europe, the Dominican Republic, and Albania and Kosovo, Liberia, other countries in East Africa, New Orleans, and El Salvador, and Haiti, the list goes on. In the past 12 months, we've responded to 28 different emergency situations, including Haiti, around the world. <laughs> It's sort of in the DNA of the organization. As long as you have someone in front of you who you can help, you help them. 147 countries, $9 billion in aid. Your passion to help, our ability to deliver.